It's 619, time for Howard's Illustrated Economics. This morning, visitors by air through history. The state keeps annual visitor counts going back to before I was born. This list shows in what years the count hit certain milestone levels, like the 50,000 visitors first reached in 1951. By 1955, that had doubled. Now, that was before Quiet Village and Ala Moana Center. We hit half a million in 1967, one million in 1960, uh, a little bit later in the 60s. And then by the 1970s, Hemeter was building his neighbor island resorts. Mainland airlines were trying direct flights to neighbor islands, although most visitors were still flying to Honolulu and then taking Hawaiian or Aloha to other islands. Hilo was still hot back then. The devastation trail still resembled a moonscape. We hit 4 million visitors in 1982, 6 million in 1993, 8 million in 2013, and we peaked at 10 million at 2019, then went back down because of COVID. This year, who knows? But this gives you an idea of how very many people there are now compared to when your parents were around. This is a situation that we do have to deal with. The sheer numbers are the only argument necessary to say that, yes, we do need destination management. And if these people look familiar, they're the ones I drew for yesterday's completely different topic. And I thought, people are people. We'll just leave the same people as yesterday. <laughs> and if I keep this up, maybe I can draw a large audience. 620. Hey. Now